has slowed down quite a lot. That showed up in his June 12th fight against Thomas Hearns here in Las Vegas. And uh, Of the scheduled 12 rounds, one is down, Frank Bruno. Early impressions on how that went. Both concentrating beautifully, you know what I mean? Just not just feeding each other out. It's first round, you don't expect too much, but it's such a great fight. It's exciting, you know? Duran happy to just control the centre of the ring, it seemed to me, and let Leonard go around him and take a good look at him. Yeah, they're just sussing at each other at the first round, you know, feeding each other out. What's being said in that corner now, do you think? I can't speak um, <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> it's the best you ask them what they're saying in the corner. I could tell you this, what they're saying in Leonard's corner, but not Duran. Uh, when in Leonard's corner, what will they say? I'm not too sure. It's best you put the mic to their corner and ask them, you know? There is Leonard now. Right. Not Leonard. even breathing. Not even breathing. You're keeping him warm, using the towel. Looking very calm. OK, we'll go back to ringside now. Round two is coming. Fight time in Las Vegas. Round number two, scheduled for 12. Well, Durant is really going to have to take it to Leonard. Well, what's Ray, what Ray is going to look to do, blow him to sleep a little bit side to side, get in, hit him with good combinations, and then get back out again. Duran surely is expecting this attack, though, gentlemen. He yes, cannot he be surprised. No question about it. So his question, the question about Duran, then, is how patient can he be? How effectively can he cut off the ring? Well, you can see he's trying to cut the ring off now on a minute, you know? And that's the smart thing to do. As you know, you cannot let Lenny get the lead in the, in the beginning of the fight. Well, I, would, I would suspect that Duran would have to throw some punches. Right hand lead landed by Leonard, a counter return by Duran. Main thing which I worry about, by Duran getting down to 158, get it zapping in his energy. And we'll find out in the late round. This fight here, they both play the same game. Duran is like that also. Duran getting a little more range counterpunching and lands a good right to the body. Duran has always been known as a good body puncher anyway. Well, he is getting the range a little bit now, Tim. A little Left low by the, Roberto. That took lead scored by Leonard before the low blow return. Well, like I said, both of these guys, there's, there's no difference in them because they both know each other. Ray is trying to feel his legs under him. Now, Ray, for the first time starting to smile, look a little more confident, a little more relaxed. Yeah, well, that's the same thing he did against Tommy. The next thing you know, he went down. Now a little of a return to New Orleans stuff. He's working on Roberto's mind right now. So far, the right, there we go. He's working on Roberto's mind. The first bolo move. Bolo move and ended followed by the jab. That's what he did in the second fight. Here he is side to side again. And Roberto is, hasn't changed his pattern one bit. Well, I think Roberto knows that he's got to he's got to get Leonard to come to him on his throat. Right, but now when they when they got into a punching exchange, Leonard was able to out punch him and then get out. Get out. And this is where this is where Duran has to follow him back and continue to throw punches. This is what Duran is trying to do. In the round number two, let's. And it was a fascinating round as well as Leonard takes his blanket. It's cold there, but he started with great authority, Barry McGuigan. Yeah, he looks the sharper of the two. He. Uh, just what I thought, he's a little bit fresher, a little bit quicker. You can see the edge in Duran's legs in particular. He's not able to catch him and cut him off so quickly. But, um, you know, it's early times, yeah? We've seen just shades of Leonard's goading Duran there. Mm. Looks like that's going to start. As I said before the fight, he'll not be able to resist that. At some stage during the fight, he'll start this uh, goading and, and uh, play acting. But. Uh, just let's, just let's hope that Duran at that stage will be able to stop him doing all that sort of carry on. Uh, Duran is, it's early days yet, he's still in the fight. Okay, let's go back to the, all the action. Round three is next. 
Daniel Duran, and we'll pick that up between the next rounds. Round number three. We've scored the first two for Leonard. The second one a little more convincingly than the first. Duran, he looks a little tight. First two rounds, he looks well, tight. Duran looks like Duran. Uh, well, looks this, like Duran right this is exactly the way for what Duran Leonard did both times. He doesn't rely on a good snappy jab. Just pushes it out, waits for something to happen, and then tries to counter. Yeah. Yes. But when every time when the end of the round, he'll shake his arm, he's still that loose yet. Roberto is going to have to nail Ray with a big punch, slow him down a little bit. Down to right by Duran, and then Leonard ties him up. I believe that Ray feels that he's a lot stronger this time than when he was the first two times. Here. Left caught Duran leaning. And the difference between Leonard fighting a Duran and a Tommy Hearns is that Tommy Hearns was a big, is a big tall guy. And when he when he thought he was out of Tommy's range a couple of times, that's when he got nailed. But Roberto was a short guy, so he, he just keeps he just keeps Roberto where he wants him. And Roberto just can't quite reach him. Not up to this point, anyhow. Ray has said uh, privately that uh, he's welcome to be, glad to be boxing a smaller man for the first time in his last three bouts. Agler, Lalonde, Hearns, right hand lead, landed, but he paid for it with a right return from Duran. But Duran is watching very, very good. He's not trying to make any mistakes, and then he's waiting for Leonard to punch and he can counter. Leonard quickly off the ropes. After another round of this, they'll go right back into the first two fights. No difference in the style. No, Pepe Correa and Leonard's corner said, trying to nail him to the body. Wasn't like those body shots. That could be for and taking all that weight off in a hurry. Well, what's funny, they've both been, they both been, well, Leonard's been knocked down twice, and Duran's been knocked out. So they both should have some kind of confidence there, knowing that one of them can go. And Leonard nailed him, and Roberto just shook his head, which is Durant, an old Latin trick. Yeah, well, Duran, when he's in the inside, he's fighting kind of sloppy. His timing is off a little bit. Leonard's concentration is just great in this fight. The thinking man's fighter. That's Ray Leonard. Final Johnny seconds. Lee. Round three. And there's a little nostalgia from New Orleans. If he keeps this up, he's going to drive Duran crazy. Plenty of uh, bad feeling in that ring at the end of that round three. Uh, Frank Bruno, a very positive start from Leonard. Very, very positive. He's using science on Durand. He's trying, at the end of the round, if you see there, he's trying to wind him up and get him mad and torment him with all the alley things dropping his hands and that, you know? He's doing a professional job. A lot of people might think, oh, he's been a cocky son, so I'd like to get him here on the chin, but he's just... The more the, the, more the fight is going on, it seems that he seems that he's getting more confident and he's taking the mickey out of him, to be quite honest. And is Duran getting wound up by this? I'm not too sure. It seems like he's going to get wound up the more the, the fight goes on, because the more Duran lets Leonard do it, the more cocky and arrogant he's going to get, as, it, as you'll see. But, Frank, he hasn't been hurt yet, has he? No, he hasn't been hurt at all. They're getting nearer together now, you know. You'll see it gradually, they're getting nearer, but Leonard's just getting more cocky and cockier and cockier. Let's I'm see what skillful. happens. Round four next. Round number four. Scheduled for 12. In this quarter, told him not to go get cocky on him now. So they, saved, they said save the macho stuff for later in the fight. They expect Durant to wind down. Well, this is the time that they're going to do anything to, to get Durant now, because Durant might start to loosen up. He can't get near Ray Leonard. Ray is keeping Duran exactly where he wants him. Duran keeps pouring that hand out there, the left hand out there. That's 
what Duran does. He doesn't doesn't snap a jab out. He just pauses with the left hand. Yes, but now I can read it that Leonard's trying to catch going to read that right hand. He's going to throw the right hand over top of that left jab. Well, that's if he wants to take that chance, Ma, because Duran keeps that right hand of his cock. That's what he's that's what he's waiting for you yes. to do. But Duran is letting Leonard rough him up. Also, when, you, when they get in tight. Low blow from Leonard. First connecting jab from Duran. Not much on it. Leonard scored him before, so he kind of felt very comfortable in there. No damage. Inside now, Leonard with an uppercut. Leonard has to, you keep using that left jab. He can't forget the jab. Now he's moving around. He's not snapping that jab out. There's a good jab. Leonard's trying to use psychology and the movement. He's trying to put all these things together right now against Duran. And he's got Duran hesitating. Right hand by Duran. Started it with a left hook and landed the right behind it. Duran has to get closer. Really bang heads in there. Both trying to get close. Duran has to show that he's just as strong as Leonard. Ray Leonard, a lot of dancing in these early rounds. It has to be a question as to how long he can keep that up. Well, there's a moment of truth in every fight, Tim. Eventually, they're going to settle down. Leonard's mouth is bleeding at the moment. There is some blood on the lower lip. It may be... But his teeth were driven into the front of his mouth. And it also could be a head. So and it, it is bothering Ray Leonard. There's no question about that. Good jab to yeah. finish the round. Well, Duran looked a lot better that round. Richie Sandoval, what were they telling they're, Durant? They're telling the Roberto to put more pressure and then come out with the right hand. You know, lead off with the right. Into round number five. You know, as, as this may help. The fact that Leonard is bleeding may help Durant psychologically because Leonard was playing games with his mind, but now Roberto sees that there is some damage to Ray Leonard. Might give him a little pep. Well, you know what's bad, though? Leonard's getting away with a lot of tack dirty tactics right now by putting the arms down on Roberto's head every time he gets in close. And the referee is not seeing it. That's the old Ali stretch. And uh, in, in Leonard's corner, they complained to the referee that Duran butted him. That's what caused that cut inside his mouth. Well, I, I think it may well have, but it, as I recall the incident, both heads came together. I don't think there was any intention at all. Oh, no, absolutely not. Intentional, but. Well, Duran is definitely trying to put the pressure on Leonard now. Again, Mark, there's going to be some time in this fight when they're going to settle down and fight. Then we'll see. In the meanwhile, Lenny can steal his hand, and the blood, the blood is streaming out of uh, Lenny's mouth right now. And it is probably bothering Lenny right now. Lenny oh. is going to have to get a little bit more aggressive. He's moving around, moving around. And now he threw a big right here, but missed by a mile. He has to remember that left jab. That's Leonard's key weapon right at the moment. Richard okay. Steele warning uh, Duran for hitting on the break, and oh. now uh. stopping time to have uh, tape repair on left glove of Ray Leonard. Okay. Tim, we were talking about the crowd reaction. I think the crowd right now is persuaded to Roberto Duran's side. A lot of booing that time when Re Richard Steele stopped it. 
Well, Leonard, now you know he will settle down now because now he's starting to try to punch well, the bigger man. Now. Leonard is a pretty tough kid. Gets right down to the nitty-gritty. I, I expect Ray to stay in there and throw those combinations. 